Lin Chen and Dini Chen Craft Art. Welcome back, Chan Chans. Welcome back. So, this week we figured since it's a week before Fanime, we'd make a nice little short video that ended up not being too short. <laughs> yeah, it was only a two hour recording, but it ended up being. 16 this, minutes. <laughs> yeah, which is longer than a four and a half hour video. Through the magic of editing and us not understanding how to edit. <laughs> One day we'll get good at it. So what are we making? Making sushi. Sushi? A really tiny sushi because we're They're zoomed so in. so <laughs> tiny. I was having trouble with them. So what's this piece of sushi that you just made? Salmon. Salmon. Salmon sashimi. And right now you're making some wonderful tuna? No. Yeah, makuro. Makuro. Tuna sashimi. So tiny. So now you're gonna make a little shrimp shrimp. Yeah. Shrimp. These sushi you're making are so shrimpy. Ebby. <laughs> you don't so like my joke. I, I didn't understand your joke. Because they're tiny. That's shrimpy. Oh, is that what it means? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well... Oh, seg. So that's a tail for the shrimp. That is a tail. Or one part of the tail. Yeah. One flap of a tail. Do they swim with their tails or the, the, the little crawlies that they have in the I front? I think they Those use arms. their legs and their tails and all of it together. But so. you know how like a, a fish or like a mermaid... I'm using mermaid even though they don't exist. But like it's supposed to like flap their like a dolphin. Like yeah, their fin. So is that how a shrimp swims, I wonder? Uh yeah, to a certain extent. I think it's mostly their legs which have like little cups on them. Oh the legs move? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a little ebby. I always imagine shrimp making the sound. Why? Because they move fast. <laughs> They're so gnarly looking. It's okay, they taste good. I love shrimps. Yeah. Grasshoppers of the sea. I really <laughs> like seafood in general. Seafood's my favorite. I like it more than meat. Like beef or like chicken, mm -hmm. you know? I, I mean, I do eat meat and stuff, but normally I prefer vegetables, like cooked vegetables, and then I prefer like seafood. I think I'm the opposite. I prefer, I like eat seafood, but I'm never really craving seafood. Oh, really? Oh, I, I always crave, like, crab. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, Not like, I'll eat crab. I enjoy mm -hmm. it when I'm eating it, but I'm never going to be like, I really need to have crab in my life right now. Yeah. Not a big fan of lobster, though. It smells. It has mm -hmm. a really strong smell, and I don't like it. But shrimp and crabs are my favorite. Mm-hmm. And you eat a lot of cuttlefish, too. Oh, yeah, cuttlefish I love. So when I say seafood, I'm talking about, like, the invertebrate seafoods. I, I eat lots of fish. I like fish. Yeah. Here, here I'm making uh, the unagi. So like eel. And it has little sesame it seeds. Has, but the little sesame seeds are a little bit big, so sorry. <laughs> Proportionally. Yeah, it's huge. It's okay. It's a little ebby. Oh, not ebby. Unagi. Unagi. That's my favorite. I think that was like the first thing you had me try when we go had when I had sushi for the first time, mm -hmm. or like good sushi for the first time. Mm -hmm. So it was quite good. I really oh, liked it. Holds a special place in your heart. And here I'm making Spa Spanish mackerel, and and this one is normally like it's cured, so it's already like cooked. It's called shimisaba. Yeah, and Dimitri's favorite. It's it's basically cured in vinegar and salt, which is why it has a very unique taste. And it's it's it has a really strong fish smell. Mm -hmm. it's so the, it's not my favorite. It's the closest thing to actual sushi from before the 1900s, mm. because sushi is quite recent, yeah. actually. So I I, I had like a, a gray like glittery gel pen, so I put it on the skin part, and it made it really glittery. So it turned out really well. I think that's the what the shime. That's the skin of the. For. I don't know. I so that, be... that looks really good. I, I... Your whole thing, like, it's just, so Lynn made this for me because I'm. I was like, I want to play the sushi because she made a sushi fidget spinner, and it looks so delicious. So I convinced her to make me a plate of sushi, and now that I have a plate of sushi, it's at like my desk at work and everything. And I want sushi all the time. You're gonna look at it every day and lunchtime, and be like, I want sushi. 
It thing was is, a you don't live. The thing is, you don't work that far away from a sushi <laughs> restaurant. It's like within walking distance to you, mm -hmm. so that's really bad. And by within walking distance, like one minute and ten second walk, <laughs> like yeah, really not. It's far. like right across from you where you work, so it's the good kind too. Yeah. So here you're making a taco. Taco. And by taco, I mean octopus. Octopus. <laughs> I had octopus sushi and. It's not that great. It has a really weird rubbery smell when we eat it mm -hmm. from this one place that we get it, but it's very tender. Mm -hmm. So that looks pretty cool. That's the best I can do with octopus. Hey, I think you did a pretty darn good job. But see how tiny they are? They are not, I was going to say insignificantly tiny, but they're pretty significant. This one's your <laughs> favorite too. It's not my favorite because... You can't call everything that I eat a favorite because that just defeats the purpose of it being a favorite. But it's because <laughs> it's your favorite that you eat it all the time. Yeah, but you can only have a few favorites, not everything. No, you can favorite. have everything favorite because you enjoy <laughs> food and you appreciate life. So everything is my favorite. Everything you eat is your favorite. Chan Chan's, you are all collectively my favorite audience. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm allowed to have lots of favorites. Yeah, yeah. So you're my favorite, you're my favorite, you're my favorite. So that's actually the rice, I mean. And that's a seaweed, supposedly. I forget what these ones are called. They have like a special name in sushi vocabulary. Maki. No, the... Um, I think it might be maki. No, it's something different. Maki is the rolls. Yeah. Um. No, well, here making the. What's that called? Ikura. The yeah, the fish egg sushi. Salmon roe. The one where it looks like a little bowl, and then you put the sushi and then fish egg on top. Mm -hmm. But you made them too big. I, I did believe. make them too big, and then I end up having to redo them. Look at the little sushis on top. They're so cute. I know they are so cute. I really want sushi now. <laughs> we can have sushi one of these days. One of these days. The thing is, is like there's a sushi shop that we go to all the time. The thing is that like we go so often that I feel embarrassed just going there. <laughs> you know, because it's to the point where like they know you. And Dimitri's family's been going to this restaurant mm -hmm. for like way before Dimitri was born. And, oh, they know me. <laughs> and so, like, one time we were at a supermarket and we ran into one of the ladies that was working there and she just, like, had a conversation with us. Like, it's, hey, it's normal. It's like, hey, you're the kid that goes to Noshi every single day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you're the kid that comes to a restaurant every week for lunch. I would say I go on average once a month per year. No, there's one point where we go every single week for a month, and I was like, Yeah, but then okay, there's we... other points we don't go for several months, yeah. so it's like on average once a month. So then I'm like, Okay, we need to stop going because all of our money goes to this place. <laughs> that was uni, by the way. Yeah, that was uni, if, in case you didn't, can't tell. I put gold glitter on top, so because uni is like a little bit darker color mm -hmm. and a shiny little bit. So here's the maki. Maki, 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 maki. So. I'm excited my, my, my. for Fanime next weekend. Yeah, so this it's will really be coming up, isn't this it? will be the last video we'll have until the event is over. So we won't have a video for you guys next week. No video. Yeah, but I, I look forward to it. I feel like I'm at the point where I'm, um, what is the word? Burned out. Burned out from quilling, but um. I feel like I don't have enough inventory, but it's okay. Like, we're not trying to stock up on our stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Plus, it's not like normal stuff where it can easily be duplicated. I mm -hmm. mean, every figure I have to make from the beginning, and it takes like four hours to make it a figure every single time. Minimum. Yeah. So, it's, it's okay if we sell out, I guess. I hope we do sell out. That means it's a good run. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll see how it goes. It's yeah. kind of funny. I'll be up there two weekends in a row for yeah. two different, completely different things. At the same location. Yeah, same exact convention center. So I'll be going to Fanime for Fanime. Uh, and then I'll the be going to week. WWDC for the Worldwide Developers Conference. 
Yay. Great intersection of art and technology. Yeah, technology. <laughs> well, I mean, in our in our channel, we have a section, a segment where we do technology mm -hmm. or like programming, but we sort of stopped because it was too uh, um, too much time consuming. But mm -hmm. eventually, Jimichi will pick that up again, doing short programming lessons for people to follow. Mm -hmm. And hey, who knows? Maybe once I get good at it, I can do my short videos of learning on mm -hmm. there or learning with people <laughs> yeah i'm definitely getting closer and closer to convincing myself to do some sort of uh ios mac os development podcast of mm -hmm. sorts so if i do start one please follow along if you're into that kind of thing tell your friends like comment subscribe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so here you're making the tray right i'm making the sushi block the the wooden block that you get whenever you go oh, the to sandals. Like, whenever you go to like the is that what it's called the sandal? Oh, well, it they look like sandals. Yeah, the wooden block <laughs> that you get whenever you sit at the bar at a sushi restaurant. Mm -hmm. However, this block I made it like a tad bit short. Had it been like I don't know, um, like half a centimeter longer, it would have fit nicely. Cue Lynn's future suffering. <laughs> yeah. So oh, it yeah, turned out nice. Turned out nice. Do you have any hopes for a fan of me? Yeah, I've never been, so me I'm looking neither. forward to it. Yeah. Hopefully we sell out fast so then we can actually go and enjoy the event. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're gonna sell out that quickly. If not, let's just close up in the middle and just go <laughs> enjoy the event. Because we've never been and this is probably our only chance to go to Fanime. Mm -hmm. You know. Because I don't plan on doing Artist Alley forever mm -hmm. this is only our second time doing a, a table at a convention mm -hmm. so there you're making the shiso leaf right shiso i, I always have trouble saying she that so. shiso oh like shiso like so is like sewing uh -huh. so she shiso <laughs> <laughs> you almost she, had it there <laughs> shiso 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 and then the fake shiso leaf <laughs> Oh, when I first learned of sushi, I was in college, and at su at our college, um, there was like a, a a sushi restaurant where they sell like udons and stuff like that too. And it's called it was called Shogun. I don't know if it's still there. It probably. But is. I've never had sushi gross. until then. It's and so my friend had my friend had um, sushi, so I had a piece of it, and it was so disgusting. And I think I had like a California roll or something like that, so it wasn't even real sushi. And this but, place is not known for its good sushi, mind you. Well, it's on a college campus. I mean, it was the only time that I've ever encountered sushi, mm -hmm. and so I met Dimitri, which was like three years later that I met Dimitri, or four years later. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah. So then he introduced me to actual sushi, and now I'm like stuck. But the whole point of mentioning this is, I used to have I have trouble saying words that starts with S or S H, because mm -hmm. I always switch the two. Mm -hmm. So then I would always say sushi, 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 sushi. Yeah, like a shoe. So I was like sushi, and people would always make fun of me in college, and I didn't understand why, you know, but. I still made fun of Lynn when I met her, but I explained to her why. <laughs> yeah, because like, <laughs> there are lots of words that I can't say that anything that starts with a P or a B, I always switch the two. Mm -hmm. uh, S and H, I always switch the two. Um, what other words do I switch? Uh, oh, T and D. Those mm -hmm. are the sounds that I can't make either. So I switch the two sounds at the same also. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Vietnamese. <laughs> Talking about switching things up, you switched a lot of sushis Sushi. all around. Well, I was uh, plating them to see where they should go. Because mm -hmm. like I said, the, the platter is a bit short. Had I made it half a centimeter longer, it would have been better. But those are like those, those little... The rolls look so good. Those little rolls are so cute. Thanks for zooming in. It You're was, welcome. It was hard to see. It was very hard to zoom in. <laughs> I was having trouble seeing. And here I cut little strips of paper and then I was making um Gari. Ginger. Every time you say gari, I'm like, there's it's not garlic. <laughs> 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 it's ginger, not garlic. Ginger. I didn't know 
Ginger is called Gaddy. Now you know. Now I know. It's so cool. Sushi. Sushi. The eel looks so cool. The eel is delicious. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching. Come check us out at Fanime if you're in town. Like, look for us, Lin Chen and Dimi Chen. Lin will be doing quilling. I'll be supporting her. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be doing it live so you can see the thing happening in slow mo. <laughs> in slow mo, it won't be sped up like this. Well, I hope you enjoy. Uh, check back one of these future weeks for more. Yeah. Bye, everyone. <laughs> okay then. <laughs>